Bishop Jakes has a beautiful church and I enjoyed the International Pastors and Leadership Conference. But no, you can be a leader no matter what city you live in. I love a good legal drama and a few good men was on point. It's about two Marines who are accused of murder. They are defended by a military lawyer, Lieutenant Daniel Caffey, who has limited courtroom experience. Tom Cruise plays that lawyer who must step up his game in order to properly defend those Marines. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Cruise does a great job. And there are lots of other great performances by hard hitters like Kiefer Sutherland, Kevin Bacon, Demi Moore, and Jack Nicholson, who gave a thought-provoking monologue about military defense. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. Freedom isn't cheap. It costs something, like Jesus clearly showed us. What's interesting about life is that you can be physically free but locked up in your mind by things like fear. Many people aren't living their best lives because they're imprisoned in their minds and they're afraid to do something as simple as take a flight. Now some people are afraid to fly, but I'm determined not to walk in fear. And I'm going to go everywhere that God calls me to go. The Bible says, we haven't been given a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Fear is toxic and it's hard to have a sound mind when you're afraid all the time. Scriptures also say that the just shall live by faith. God's word is a solid foundation that we can put our trust in. Psalm 91 tells us about God's protections. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. God's word accomplishes what he sends his word to do and his word will never return back void, meaning it's going to do what God says it will do. And if God, who knows the end from the beginning, promises to protect you, you better trust you're gonna be protected. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor of the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Our faith in God's word is seed. Our heart is the ground, and we use our words to water that seed planted in our hearts. We need to speak in line with God's word. That's our foundation. And if we do things God's way, we'll produce a harvest. And you better believe when you're hooked up with God, he has definitely got your back. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. I respect our brave men and women in uniform. We have more than just a few good men and women serving our country. Thank you for your service. Not all of us can do what you do. For those in particular who will never be in the military, I leave you with this quote from the movie. You don't need to wear a patch on your arm to have honor. Remember, he is able to do exceeding abundantly above and beyond all you can think or imagine according to the power that works in you. We get our power from him. I'll see you next time.